All right, South Dakota Volleyball th fans, thanks for tuning in today. You guys are in for a treat because we're releasing some of our postseason award winners. And we even got a chance to talk to most of them here today. Yeah, and it's our third annual uh, postseason award show, and the talent was better this year than it has been in any year past as uh, volleyball continues to get better and better in the state. So congratulations to all of our winners, to all the champions, uh, but not only the people we talk about today, but just everybody that was nominated um, and everybody that part participated this season. All right, stay tuned. You guys are in for a treat. All right, I am here with Coach Stoser of the Pure Governors. Uh, congratulations, Coach. We are here to announce that you guys have been chosen as our Adrenaline Volleyball Breakout Program of the Year. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we've talked so much about your team this year, just loving the way that they play together and really for each other. Can you just talk a little bit about the journey that has been Pure Volleyball? Um, last fall. Yeah, absolutely. You know, some things kind of came up that um, were unexpected and, and some things fell into place where we have a brand new coaching staff with um, honestly four people in four different positions than the year before. And then an, a team that all had to step up from into varsity roles that really um, didn't play much varsity time at all. We had a couple here and there, but for the most part, not much varsity time at all. So it was all brand new, clean slate for us. Um, and everybody was on the same page and it just, um, things really fell into place this season. I think this summer is where we where we decided, you know, what um, defines this group. And like you say, I think it's the, the closeness and the excitement that they bring. I mean, they're excited about every little point and, and really their time on varsity, this is brand new for them and they were excited to be there and, and we carried that through the season. Um, Summer Slam, I think, is where the coaches, at least, we looked and, and we were a little bit surprised. We're like, you know, we, we've got something here. We've got a team that they can do some things. They can compete with these um, teams that everybody's saying are the top ones in the state and, and did really well. And so uh, we were excited, but we also didn't want to overwhelm them with here's these expectations. But I think what this year was for us is um, they know they belong and we feel mm -hmm. that we belong with anybody in the state. And so what was probably goals for us this year, I think will be expectations for next year. And, and that's a part of growing as a group. You know, there's excitement in our community um, that we haven't seen in a while. Uh, we had a, a grade school camp and we had some 125 athletes in our small facility, which is a lot. You know, people are excited. We've got girls that, you know, were playing different sports, younger athletes playing different sports that are wanting to join the program. And um, we've got a great, um, our assistant coach, Brianna Kusler, is doing a great job with club volleyball and she's really getting a lot of girls, um, everybody that tries out, there's a spot for them to play in some sort of, so there's a lot of off season things going on. Um, you know, and, and we left ourselves some room for, you um, goals and more and things that some unfinished business after the mm -hmm. state tournament i guess you can say you know we went there and i think we competed at, especially in our first game you know we competed um probably as close as you can get and so um there's definitely some things that we want to prove that we're able to do and and so i know these girls were upset with the way things worked out but overall as a season they met every goal that they set you know as far as a winning season a home soda game which peers never had in any sport before and then to win that and go to the state tournament it's been a long time so when we were able to compete with every team that we played um you know, the expectations there that next year, not only are we going to be at the state tournament, we're going to um, show that Pure belongs. All right, I am here with Coach Northrup of Gerritsen and congratulations, Coach. We are announcing our postseason awards here today. Um, so I'm here to congratulate you for uh, the Class A Breakout Program of the Year. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, you talk about just the growth of your, your girls in the past couple years and getting to that state championship match. Um, I know, you know, we saw you during the tournament. Just talk about how exciting that week was for your team. Well, you know, when you come from 0-2 in both those first two matches, that was pretty super exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, we played the exact same match with Elkton when we were at home. We lost the first two games and then we just rolled. I don't know what it is about us, a little slow start or whatever. And, you know, to do it at the state tournament, and then we played the, that Dakota Valley match. And, you know, they're a great program and great coaches and stuff. And so 
it was good you know get to that championship match that's all you can hope for really what about the growth just between seasons because i know um you guys just miss out on the state tournament last year and and just kind of make a splash throughout the entire season this year um you know playing consistently only dropping one match all year before the state tournament so uh what did the off season look like for you guys well, you know, we need to really back up another year. It was the first year I was there. We drew uh, McCook Central in that Sweet 16. McCook Central ends up third in the state, you know, and, and we were at a point in that match, I told my coach, I said, if we can get to this point, we can be in this match. But then we looked at each other and let a ball drop, and then I said, well, this is not meant to be. Mm-hmm. And then last year, of course, we laid an egg in that, in that Baltic match. We beat them twice during the season, and... We, everything that could go wrong went wrong that match and so we didn't make the state tournament then so in my theory you know we could have made it the very first year uh we just had a whole lot of program to get mentally changed around mostly mm-hmm. and what about just kind of the makeup of your team i know we've talked about just how impressive certain players are but but really how well they play together is what makes the biggest difference i guess um in my opinion but just talk a little bit about how your team works together well, you know, that's that's the whole small town theory with everything. You know, they, they know everybody, their, co- their cousins are related and all that good stuff. And and if you looked at our crowd that was at that state tournament, I mean, the whole the whole community was there, you know. So, um, yes, you know, I walked into the gym my very, very first day that I ever saw him play and into an open gym. And I said, you know, I got more talent here. You know, and I just said, we just got to figure out how to get them mentally prepared. And then we just have to start from basics. And so, you know, we really don't do a lot of stuff, you know, anything fancy. It's just, you know, line it up and hit the ball and play good defense and serve. Well, all right. So I have Coach Johnson here of Pat Geddes. Uh, Coach, congratulations. I'm here to let you know um, that Pat Geddes has been awarded our Breakout Program of the Year in Class B. Oh, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. And you know, being able to secure that number one seat, especially in a year like this year with, with Class B, after just missing out on the state tournament last year, what does that mean for your program moving forward? Yeah, that I was not expecting. You know, I I expected us to have a great season, you know, have a winning record, um, hopefully making it to state. I knew we would have a good chance, but uh, I was definitely not, uh, I would not have, if you would have asked me before the season started that and said, hey, I think you guys are going to be number one by the end, I would not have uh, guessed that. So that was that was a great surprise. And, you know, I just thought though my girls really worked hard. Um, and, you know, that that was a big deal. And I told those girls that, you know, after we ended up making it to state and stuff, I said, that was a big deal that we were number one. Um, you know, that's that's in the whole class B. Um, and so, you know, soak that in and and be proud of that because that that is a big deal. i um, getting that number one seed. And I think that Wagner game was a big change for us. Like that was a turning point. Um, we hadn't beat Wagner in over 20 years is what I heard. <laughs> and um, they're right away at the season. That's when we play them. And so that's kind of tough when you're just starting to play with your new team um, and get things going. And, you know, that that win in five sets, um, I think, really showed the girls that we can play with, you know, anyone. And so then I think from there on, um, the girls just kept improving um, in general, you know, just as working together as a team on individual skills. And I think it just as we kept going, the confidence just built and built. Um, and then, you know, when we made that state tournament too, that de- definitely showed them, uh, you know, that we um, we deserved going there um, and playing with the best of the best for Class B. Hello, South Dakota. I'm Katie Fernholz, and I'm currently a sophomore here at Kansas State University. I attended Miller High School and I also played for the club Kusler Clinic, so shout out to them. But I'm here to announce the Class B Volleyball Player of the Year Award. And I first off want to congratulate all the athletes and finalists on an amazing season. But now, the time you've all been waiting for, the 2021 Adrenaline Volleyball Class B Player of the Year Award goes to Warner's Ava Nelson. Congratulations, Ava, and good luck in your upcoming seasons. But just take us through kind of the journey that was Monarch Volleyball this, this season. 
We definitely had an adventurous season. We hit some pretty high highs, obviously, and a few lows, but we really stuck together as a team through everything. And I'm just super proud of how we came out this season. And how are you guys preparing for postseason? I know uh, you just kind of talked about it, kind of having some of those highs and lows throughout the season. How do you restart and how did coach prepare you for the second season or the postseason? At the beginning of postseason, Mrs. Jung always tells us, okay, girls, like this is zero and zero. It could be anybody's game now. And I think that really got us in the mindset that one false move and like you could be done. And we were so ready and ambitious and we really wanted to bring home something that we would remember. Yeah, and you guys played, I mean, pretty lights out during the state tournament. That was some of the best volleyball we saw you play all season. Um, what did you guys feel during the state tournament? How were you able to kind of keep it together for that long, especially in, in class B where, I mean, there was like a new hot team every other week. Right, yeah, class B was awesome this year, but um, I think we really just relied on each other. And if somebody was having a rough game, we could always lean on our teammate's shoulder and we could always just pick each other up by being good teammates. Um, I was trying to be more of a vocal leader this year and we had a few new hitters come in and have amazing roles like freshman Kylie Shop. She came in and she just kind of blew us all away. She really became stronger and had a way better approach and had some amazing hits this season. And so I felt like if I could be more of a vocal leader, that could help her become even better player herself so she could really absorb that new role. And other than that, just defensively getting to more balls and digging up more and just feeding my hitters with better balls. Hey everyone, it's PK and I'm here to announce the Class A Player of the Year. Congratulations to all the finalists who showed such great competition at the Class A level this fall. With that being said, Adrenaline Volleyball's Class A Player of the Year is Sioux Falls Christian's Katie Van Egdom. Congratulations on an amazing senior season and I wish you the best of luck in the future. Uh, so just talk to me a little bit about uh, your journey with Sioux Falls Christian um, Volleyball throughout this season. Yeah, so um, at the beginning of the season, um, I was super excited because I knew I was going to be a senior and like some of my best friends are the other seniors and all just like really excited to step into that role together and just really pour into our underclassmen because that's something that we really like prided ourselves on. We loved the team chemistry that we built together. So I think that's something that played a huge role in just how our team played together because of just how tight we all were with each other. So Awesome. And how did you guys deal with a lot of the pressure that was on you guys this season because I think um, you know anyone who watches volleyball in the state would have known that you guys were the favorites um, pretty much all season long and I know you know pressure can be hard sometimes but you guys really never faltered so just talk about um, yeah how you guys were able to deal with that yeah so yeah like you said there's usually quite a bit of pressure on us but I think just like what we remind ourselves is like we just need to trust in like what we know, like just trust ourselves and play volleyball and not let anything outside of that distract us because as soon as we do that, that's when we start to let it get to us. So if we just like block all that out, focus on each other, especially, and just like really playing for the person next to us rather than what everybody, all the media stuff and just everybody around us, but really just focusing on our side of the court and who's on the side of us, so yes. Perfect, and talk a little bit about your personal game because I know um, you've played, you know, kind of multiple different roles throughout the years. Um, obviously, your senior year playing the biggest role, but how do you um, just learn to embrace, I guess, whatever team you're on, whatever role you're playing? Yeah, um, something that our coaches really preach about is just like every role has a huge like impact on the team. So yeah, like even if I had like such a big role, I always made sure that as somebody in that big role, I'd go to the people that maybe are in the smaller roles and make sure they know that like we wouldn't be here without them. Like they're on our practice side, making sure that our starters are constantly getting better and just making sure that, yes, I'm playing the best volleyball that I can for my team. But at the same time, um, I'm really pouring into the other people because I think that's a huge part of being in the role that I was. So that's pretty much what I focus on this year. What would you tell a 12 year old walking into the gym for the first time um, wanting to be a great volleyball player, what kind of advice would you have for her? Um, I would tell them to just 
constantly work hard. Give your best every single practice. And even if it's not going well, um, as long as you're giving your best effort and attitude, that's all you can control. And it'll all work itself out. And also just to not be too hard on yourself. Remember to have fun. That's the most important thing in the game. And I'm a firm believer that if you're having fun with the people around you, that's when you're truly playing your best volleyball. So that those are the biggest reminders that I would say to them. Hi, I'm Reagan Riley. I'm a freshman setter and I will be at SCSU starting in the spring. I went to O'Gorman High School and I played for Kairos Elite Volleyball Club. I'm here to announce Adrenaline's Class AA Volleyball Player of the Year. First, I would like to congratulate all the finalists on a great fall of AA Volleyball. Adrenaline Volleyball's Class AA Player of the Year is my sister, Bergen Riley. Congrats, Tell us Bergen. a little bit about just the journey that was this season for you and your team. Yeah, for sure. This season was different for me. Um, I mean, obviously missing a big chunk in the middle of the season, but um, I think that that was just exactly what our team needed because everyone had a chance to step up and everyone could show what they could do and they could show that they were leaders when I was gone. And, um, so yeah, it was definitely a grind. And then at the end of the season, we had Brooke Harbison get hurt and then Megan T. Hart get hurt. And so we had to work through adversity, but um, I think that ultimately that's why we won was we had to work through that and that helped us to grow as a team. Absolutely. And, and how do you lead through moments like that? Because I know injuries can be tough. Obviously, there's an emotional element there, um, but also, I mean, physically and in the game, you need to figure out a way to win because obviously the player that got hurt doesn't want you to really just give up the match. So talk about how you focus your leadership in times like that. Uh, I think that I just am kind of the person to calm the team down. Like, I know that we've practiced with different rotations and like, obviously it's hard without our center and our outside, but um, we know and we trust that everyone on our team can do their job and um, whether they're coming off the bench or whether they start, like we all trust them. And so I think that's the biggest thing is just like putting confidence back into us, even when we do hit those hard times and when people are coming off the bench, like we just have to calm down and trust our training. Awesome. And, and last thing is, you know, especially during those big matches, we notice that you kind of hit a new level. Is there something that kind of comes over you? Um, or just talk about, I guess, the feeling, because um, I see you not, and I think you know what I'm talking about <laughs> when you kind of take control of the match. So just talk a little bit about how that feels like for you. Yeah, I mean, I'm a really competitive person. I would say overall, I'm probably like a quiet, reserved person, but like, when I'm on the court, I'm so competitive. And so um, I kind of, after that second set against Washington, I kind of just went into the middle and I was like, we're not losing this. Like, I know that we can go out there and prove ourselves. And we went to five the night before. And I, I just said like, we didn't go to five last night to get swept tonight. And so, um, and I think that that kind of starts with me. Like I have to take responsibility and I have to get our team going. And so, um, yeah, I think that I try to just like, I don't know, just kind of take over if, if it's needed. And um, I like to give everyone their opportunities, but um, there is some times where I just kind of get that different gear. And um, yeah, I mean, it worked out, I guess. <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan Riley, and I'm here to announce the Class A Breakout Player of the Year. First, I would like to congratulate all the finalists and athletes that made noise throughout this fall. Adrenaline's Class A Breakout Player of the Year is out in Lake Bend's Tevin Erickson. Congratulations, Tevin. Um, with one of the youngest teams really in Class A this year, you guys, and you really led the Lady Elks to a really successful season, which was on full display at the state tournament. Um, talk to me just about the growth of both yourself and your team over the course of this fall. I've had a lot of experience playing volleyball, so I knew, like, I know more, so I just stepped up and was very vocal on the court and worked hard every day to better myself for the team. Just, like, in practice, we really, we knew we could do it. We just worked hard every day. After the BBC tournament, we just, like, um, we knew we could go far in the season, so we just worked really hard in practice every day 
and worked with each other really good. Um, I think we all were just really close, so that helped too. Katie Fernholz from Miller, South Dakota, and I now attend Kansas State, and I'm here to announce the Class B Breakout Player of the Year. This year as a whole has been huge for Class B competition, so congratulations to all the athletes who competed. Now, your 2021 Adrenaline Volleyball Class B Breakout Player of the Year award goes to Chester's Lily Van Hall. Congratulations, Lily, and best of luck in your future. Um, okay, so talk just a little bit about uh, your journey with the Flyers this season um, and just your guys' growth throughout the season. We knew over the summer we had to like push ourselves to get better. And so going into that Class AA tournament, we knew that had a, we pushed us to get into November. We knew we had to just keep going like hard over the season to get better. So we practiced hard just everything hard, no light to face. And, and then what about your growth just personally? What have you seen change the most um, in your setting game and your game as a whole over uh, the course of this season? Well, I knew taking a more important role this year, I had to be more confident and just be a team leader. And I really saw that starting to come together this year. And what do you do to raise that confidence, right? Because it's it's one of those things um, that's easy to say is, you know, I need to be more confident, but sometimes those are the hardest things to do. So how do you really um, start growing that confidence in yourself? We just playing together, just being more comfortable with everyone, really just became more helping with me. And just playing like, just talking to everyone, hanging out together, just being a team really helped me with everything. Hi, it's PK and I'm here to announce the Class AA Breakout Player of the Year. Each and every season, there are so many new faces at the AA level, so congratulations to all the athletes whose names made it in the conversation. Adrenaline Volleyball's 2021 Class AA Breakout Player of the Year is Washington's Macy Melchow. Congratulations on your amazing season, and I can't wait to see what you lead yourself and Washington towards in the future. Yeah, talk a little bit about this season. I know um, we've talked about kind of your journey and, and what the summer looked like for you and, and how you got to where you have been, but why don't you kind of tell it from your perspective where you came from the summer into the fall season? Um, I think from the summer, it was just like the following year where it was just, we all have open gyms and we get to know different players. Um, but stepping into the setter position, it was fun and new to use these other hitters like on the varsity teams. Um, and it was just tricky, like trying to be able to join in and play with these girls that have had some, like, so much experience, but they welcomed me with open arms. I think I followed after um, our seniors on the team and how they just are very nice to everyone. They play their hardest, they play for each other. And I just had to do it for the team. I was playing for my teammates and not for myself. So that's where I got my confidence. I think team chemistry really helped us. Um, we all just got along so well. There was never drama, no arguments, no nothing. So. It was very easy to be able to play with each other and we could trust each other on the court. So I think that's what helped us in those tough times in some of those sets was that we just depended on each other and that helped us get through the season and like really important games. All right, so I'm here with Kelly Schroeder of Washington Volleyball and we're here to announce today that coach, you've been named our double A coach of the year. So congratulations. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. And you know your team is was just so fun to watch this past year and i think one of the biggest um you know reasons behind uh you receiving this award is just how many question marks your team really had i guess kind of coming into this season um just talk about how you were able to work through some of those um you know new players and new positions you know it's kind of a, a team effort really um you know with the help of my staff um, as well as the returning players, just putting in time and and the effort that we gave to to work with those girls, and you know a lot of it too. Credit goes to to those girls that stepped in as well. Um, you know, especially with a couple of them being younger, 
uh, for them to to put in the time and the work that they did in the off season, whether that was club um, or whether that was open gyms as well. Um, they deserved it, and uh, obviously they came in and did a lot of special things. So it was a it was a fun fun year. Um, yeah, I mean they were awesome. You know, I know talking with Jaden and and her being a starter for us the last three years and Libero for the last two. Um, she really ran that back row and she was kind of our rock defensively and in serve receive all year um, and really pushed the back row players um, to play better defense and, and picked up a lot of stuff. I think that was kind of one thing that that maybe um, went unnoticed or, you know, there's times where she made chaotic plays, but that was because she had to cover at least half of our back court, um, even though there's three players back there. Um, and then Jocelyn Richardson as well, um, you know, stepping up for us, being our kill leader, um, second in digs on our team, you know, a solid serve receiver, um, one of our best uh, consistent servers as well. Um, and just like you said, kind of a utility player all around. Um, really, she could go in and play any position that we really um, needed her to uh, if, if we had to, you know, come down to that. Um, I know, and Macy, you know, talking about her as well. Um, just a fantastic job, you know, stepping in as a sophomore. And again, we've talked about it, but, you know, she doesn't have that traditional setter training um, coming in. She played middle all club season, um, didn't set a ball until um, um, for her to come in and, and run the offense the way that she did and kind of step in and do some things was phenomenal for us. Um, you know, if she, if she doesn't do all the work that she did leading up to the season, you know, I don't, I don't know if we go 30 and two and get runner up because we maybe have to move Jocelyn to that right side position. And whether it's a six, two or, or five, one with her, um, you know, that just kind of takes her out of the defensive role um, of having to take that second ball. Not that they don't play defense, but um, that wouldn't have, would have been a different mentality um, as far as, as that play goes. So, you know, those three were a big part of what happened this year and, I'm, I'm happy that they, they got some awards for that. All the things that were said after the state tournament from various coaches, various people um, throughout the state, um, Class A, Class B players, um, that it was just it was just a good group to to watch and play and coach. Um, you know, it was it, this was the first time at, at one of our banquets that you know I guess I don't care if I say this and people watch, but you know I got <laughs> emotional. Um, and just, you know, kudos to these girls that they could have that type of impact. And a lot of it goes to our senior girls. Um, a lot of them have been around, have played and had um, an important role in the last four years. Um, and it shows the impact that they've had. So, you know, my hope is that the things that this group did, um, it's going to last more than just this year. It's going to trickle over into the next two or three or four seasons as well. All right, I'm here with Stacy Knebel, head coach of Wagner, the Red Raiders, uh, and we are announcing today uh, that, Coach, you have been named the Class A Coach of the Year, so congratulations. Well, thank you. That's yeah, awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, so just talk a little bit. I know we have chatted throughout the season, but just about the journey that you guys have had throughout uh, the fall season. Um, it's been a great journey. The girls have really proved themselves this year coming together as a team and just getting to know each other and just going through the ups and downs of the season but more ups than downs and they just have were a lot of fun to be with and i tell you what making that state tournament and making those goals each day and each each way each step of the way through was amazing to see that those girls reach those goals and so now it's on to a new season and now we set new goals for next year Absolutely. And, and going back to even your journey to the state tournament, definitely not the easiest route. You guys, you know, kind of had a five set thriller with EPJ. Can you talk just a little bit about uh, what it was like to overcome uh, such an intense match with the girls um, to get to the state tournament? You know, after, after you're down to it, it's always hard to come back. But I tell you what, the girls had that look in their eyes that they were just eager and ready to go and be like, we're not giving up this easy. And for them to just come together as a team was the biggest thing. Um, come together mentally, physically, everything um, really pushed them through that. Through that, And we never looked back after that third, fourth, and 
even into that fifth set, I thought they'd look nervous, but boy, they came out with guns blaring. Um, defense was up, blocks were up. Um, we were just, nothing did nothing did nothing but swing at the ball, which I think won mm-hmm. those matches for us. And so that 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 was that was probably the biggest part, I think. So, mm-hmm. yep. And what was the state tournament like for you guys? I think it was a great experience for them um, overall. I think they loved the environment. I tell you what, they, they did a great job at the arena there. Um, I think a little bit of awe, shock and awe, and you know, going into that big of a setting. But I tell you what, they were focused each game, each set. Uh, they, they just wanted to go over there and play. And they're, they're very eager, but hopefully to get back there next year, hopefully. All right, I am here with Coach Doctor of Coleman Egan, and congrats, Coach. We're here today uh, to let you know that you have been awarded our Class B Coach of the Year Award. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, congratulations. It's exciting. It, Thanks. Crew is so fun to watch uh, throughout this season. Can you just kind of key us into some of the more exciting parts of your guys' year? Um, you know, we kind of started off um, as a roller coaster starting this year. Um, you know, we graduated quite a few last year, and I think a lot of people just thought that it was going to be like a restarting program or building. Um, but a lot of our key players from last year were also returning from this year, which I think kind of got overlooked. But we did start off rockier just because we had half of our team that had played together and half of our team that had never once played together. Um, so our first couple weeks getting into the season was a lot of getting used to each other and getting used to um, playing next to different players that they had never played next to um, ever before. Mm-hmm. Um, so the first couple of weeks of our season was a lot of getting used to that and just kind of, I mean, we still won games, but it just wasn't pretty or organized in any sense. Um, and then about like our third, fourth week into the season, they started to get the feel for it, started to get some flow and whatnot. And um, we kind of had ups and downs throughout the season, you know, some games that we didn't play how we should have played, you know, in last games that we could have probably competed better. Um, but these girls or this team really pulled through when playoffs started. They played very consistent. Um, and really, I think their hearts and souls were just completely into the sport and into each game. And that is truly just what made us so successful because um, each one of them wanted it so bad. And it really showed on the court that they were going to go above and beyond. Um, to play to their fullest potential um, to keep us successful and keep us going. And yeah, they just, they got after it. And that game, well, I think we'll, we'll be with every single person on our team and all of us coaches probably until or forever, pretty much yeah. just because. I'm Katie Fernholz from Miller, South Dakota, now at K-State. And I'm here to announce the Positionals Award outside of the year. There's so much talent in this position year in and year out, so I want to congratulate all the finalists this season. And now your 2021 Adrenaline Volleyball Outside of the Year Award goes to Arlington's Hadley Carlson. Congratulations, Hadley, on a great season and best of luck in your future. Um, just So just talk to me and talk to our followers a little bit about um, just the journey of Arlington Volleyball throughout the 2021 season. Oh man, well, for starters, like we all knew right away that we could be good and we're all super close. Like even from the beginning, we played together all summer and we were like a group who just hangs out together. And like, I feel like when you have that type of relationship, everything kind of clicks and goes well. And I think right from the beginning, we knew that if we were together and like everybody was all in, that we could definitely be a good team and compete with those other really good teams. Absolutely. And then what about your growth? Because I know we saw, um, obviously you caught our eye last year, but um, just the growth in your overall like leadership and small parts of your game. Um, just talk about what that has been like. What have you focused on um, in the off season to really improve that kind of part of your game? Mm-hmm. Um, I think in the off season, I just kind of focused on like being encouraging and telling people that like when you put the work in, you're going to get better. And like the little details of everything, the way you do your approach, like all these little things are super important and create something like so much bigger. And I was always told like as an outside hitter. So, and I think that was like a big part too, like 
it's not always about how hard you hit it. Like consistency and placing the ball and playing smart is what is going to grow my game. And I think like just helping people and being a leader all summer to them with that was really important. And from even when we started, I started J.O. volleyball in fifth grade. And from then I was like running down my hallway and doing my approach. Like I'd walk around my house and do my approach. And I, I still do that today. Like I'm just doing everything like that. And like, I have like, like one of those circle lamps like on the ceiling and I jump up there and I like set the lamp. Like I'm not a setter, but I don't know, just something to do. Yeah. <laughs> and I think working on those fundamentals and like knowing that you are going to grow and you're always going to get better every single day and every single year and i think as like a young person too it's important to know that everybody else is working hard too and to be patient with each other because like obviously when you're 12 everybody is learning so i think being a good teammate is important too when you're when you're young Hey everybody, it's PK and I'm here to announce the Utility Player of the Year. We saw players step up and fill in roles for the betterment of their teams, so I cannot say enough about the finalists from this category. A gentleman Volleyball's 2001 Utility Player of the Year is Washington's Jocelyn Richardson. Jocelyn, your hard work does not go unnoticed and I wish you the best of luck in your future. Um, yeah, so stepping into varsity sophomore year, we had the outside spot filled, like Sydney Shutnan, big name, Ellie Walker, big name. So they found that they needed a right side. So when I learned that, I really took it upon myself to be well-rounded and learn to play different positions so I could see the court more. So I stepped on as a right side and then I really enjoyed that actually, and then played right back. And then this year, Sydney Shutnan graduated. So the outside position was open. So I just transitioned back into that. And it was pretty similar. It was just a little different because I had a different setter. So <laughs> the, the hitting was about the same thing, like working on different shots from a different side of the court. And then obviously look in the back row, I wasn't playing right back anymore. I was playing left back. So that was a bit of a awesome. Yeah, and then you obviously moved sides of the court as well, but also took, you know, maybe double or even triple the amount of swings that you took last year. So. How was that transition to take on more of a leadership role? I really enjoyed it. <laughs> like I kind of sat in the shadows for a while. So it was nice to be like, all right, we're in trouble. Like I'll take the ball. Like, and mm -hmm. I kind of liked taking on more pressure and taking like a bigger role. And I definitely felt it when the season ended. I was like, wow, <laughs> like, I'm a bit beat up from all these swings I'm taking, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, what was it like preparing for this season during the summer with a bunch of question marks? During the summer, I was playing every position you can imagine, <laughs> like open gyms. I would go early to setter training and mm -hmm. when we would do like position-based stuff, I would split up my time. So I would spend some time with the setters, working on like connections with middles and stuff. And then I would like halfway through run over to the pins court and try and hit some of the system stuff and just work myself around. And it was a lot, but I mean, I had to be ready for wherever you wanted to put me. I think it really benefited me a lot because obviously like I got to know a lot of the players that would be coming up to the JB Varsity Court because I got to see some of the setters that were coming in, got to see a lot of the pins that were coming in. So I got to make some connections, but then I also got to learn more about each position. So when we were in a game, I could help out basically anyone on the court if they had a question about something they needed to change or if they had any type of concern, I could usually give them an answer. Hi, I'm Reagan Riley, and I'm here to announce the Setter of the Year Award. Congrats to all the finalists for wowing us in one of the biggest roles on the court. Adrenaline Volleyball's 2021 Setter of the Year is Roosevelt's Elizabeth Denovan. Congrats, Liz, on a great season. So I've been a setter ever since I was young. I started playing volleyball maybe when I was uh, eight or nine, and I've always um, liked that position. I've looked up to people like Kelly Hunter for Nebraska Volleyball, Nicklin Hames for Nebraska Volleyball, and um, seeing how setters can lead the floor and be one of the biggest leaders on the court really inspired me to be a setter. And freshman year, um, I started as a freshman on the varsity team, and fulfilling that leadership role was very scary. 
um, when I was a freshman. So I think I've developed a lot and improved a lot in my leadership skills over the year. I started to get more comfortable leading the team and um, bringing us in the middle and kind of just taking charge over a game if, if need be. And I think that's probably the best part about being a setter is that you can kind of, um, people look up to you and people know that you're one of the strongest leaders on the team. And that's a really uh, fun role to fill um, if you do it correctly. Um, if you were to meet a young a volleyball player stepping into the gym for the first time and she wanted to be a setter, what advice would you give to her? I would say it all comes back, being a setter, it all comes back to leadership and um, just communicating with your hitters. And, you know, sometimes you have to take the blame for, you can give them a perfect set and they might wail it out of bounds. And, you know, it's a, uh, oh my bad, like, let me fix that set or something, you know? Um, so you're kind of taking, you take a lot of blame. You um, you have to lead, like we said, like lead the court really well. Yeah, I would say leadership, being a good teammate and taking some of the blame um, for things that you know aren't your fault is probably the, the biggest things. Hi, it's PK. And for some positional awards, I'm here to announce the Libero of the Year. Each year, the depth of this position grows so much, so congratulations to all of this year's finalists. Adrenaline Volleyball's 2021 Libero of the Year is Washington Jaden Shetnan. Congratulations, Jaden, on an unbelievable senior season. And just so you know, once a warrior, always a warrior. So we've, we're just so impressed with your um, growth during the off season and the way that you played throughout the year. So just talk, yeah, I guess a little bit about how you felt about your growth this season. I just think that I became more confident with myself and um, I believe more in myself and that I, if I want to be able to achieve something, I just have to work my butt off and get there, I guess. And um, and just I would try my best and try my hardest during practice to improve and get better. And if I have, if I want to improve something, I would just ask like Kelly or one of the other coaches, like, can we do a lot of this today to help me with that? and. If I need any, like, if I had any questions, the coaches were there to always help me with feedback and tell me what I should try instead or any of that. So I just think my mindset changed and I became more confident. I just encourage them a lot too. So like, instead of more being like, oh, you need to do this. I'm like, no, you're fine. You know what you have to do. Like, mm -hmm. I just think being positive is a great way to make people more confident and feel better about their play. And what do you think is the biggest improvement in your game um, from, say, last year to this year? Um, I would have to say probably my communication with everyone, just being able to communicate about, just communicate early on the serve receive or um, just, like I said, being positive and being there for everyone or also, my survey team, I think, improved a lot this year compared to the other, the last few years. It, it's been a great ride. Like, I don't think I could have asked for anything better. The coaches, the players I've been able to play with, just everyone, it, they've made it incredible. Um, especially this year, like, are the bond we had with all the teammates, with everyone, and the coaches too. Like, I feel like we all just were like one big family. And I mean, it was, I, like I said, I could not ask for anything better. Um, so say you meet up with like a 12 year old girl who's walking into the gym, the volleyball gym for the first time and she wants to be a libero. What kind of advice would you give her looking back at it now? Oh, I would probably just say to follow your dreams and never let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, just. Be positive in yourself and confident in yourself, and that will get you to where you want to be. I'm Katie Fernholz from Miller, South Dakota, now at K-State, and I'm here to announce the Positional Award Middle Blocker of the Year. Congratulations to all the season finalists, and I may be a little biased, but as a current middle, I think the middle is the best position. So with that being said, your 2021 Adrenaline Volleyball Middle of the Year award goes to 
Sioux Falls Christian Sydney Timms. Congratulations on a great career, Sydney, and best of luck in your future. Just tell me a little bit about what the senior season has meant to you. I know you guys have had a very successful, and you have had a very successful career, um, but just, yeah, a little bit about what this season has meant to you. Yeah, I think the season has been super fun because I think as a team, we got along really well and our chemistry was there. And I just had so much fun with the girls and just having like a stronger impact this year than I have in the past. And not even that, but like everybody just kind of contribute contributed what they needed to to the team and I think we all got along really well so that just kind of made us come together and be more unified I guess. Awesome yeah and you, you talked about it a little bit there but um, what we've noticed from your play especially in the middle is your ability to impact multiple parts of the game so obviously you're out there scoring points but also defending points at the net. Talk about your growth as a middle throughout the years and what you focused on. Yeah, I think a big thing for me to focus on is always just the details. I can really tell if I focus on pressing more on the block or focus on transitioning faster um, throughout every game, then I'm able to, when I'm able to focus on those details, then I'm able to implement that into my game. And I feel like that is just where I've grown more. Whereas before, I think when I was younger, like, I wouldn't necessarily press as much on the block or need to transition as fast. But when you do that, you make yourself available um, to hit, which is really important as well.